I think a few years ago, um, I was in contact with them. Um, there was a lack of interest on their end, and they were bringing in big casts. Uh, and honestly, um, no. The answer is no. Uh, you know, I'm doing fine in my life. If, 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 if you, people know my phone number, if they wanted to get in touch with me and contact with me, they could. People know that I'm a draw when it comes to television. You put me on your TV screen, I'm going to do a number at least the first day. <laughs> it's on me to keep the, keep the, you know, uh, train rolling. But I, I just know that, um, it's one of those feelings where if you don't want to work with me, I don't want to work with you. Um, and I don't know that they don't want to work with me, but I have a feeling that if they wanted to, they could have already gotten in touch with me yet. So I'd be lying to you if I told you they have. So no, I haven't heard from them. And, uh, it's kind of one of those things now where it's, I think it's past it's, it's, it's a uh, luster on my brain and my mind. I think a few years ago, honestly, I'll tell you what did it. Uh, Brody, my, one of my good buddies, um, Luke Harper, no, uh, lo, known as Luke Harper in WWE. When he passed away, that was the first time I tuned into AEW to see the show that they put on for him. And I thought to myself at that time, um, I even wrote a letter to Tony Khan. I don't know if he ever got it, but thanking him for doing that. Uh, just what, what you did for my friend, uh, the way you honored him. And the other company that he used to work for didn't really honor him at all. And I just thought it was class and that they did something right. And I don't need to watch the wrestling show or the rest, know all the wrestlers or the or Tony or anybody to know that that was good. That was good what they did. And taking care of his son to this day and his wife, Amanda, um, that's class. I, 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 and I also, you know what, like Tony Khan gave my friends jobs that would never other have, have one otherwise. My best friend, Big Cass. So like, yeah, there's still, like, I love wrestling. And anybody who can get an opportunity to wrestle for a living – when there was only one company. When I got fired in 2018, there was nowhere for me to go. There was no AEW. Impact was on the out. Well, TNA, Impact, like, on the outs, not even happening. Ring of Honor, going out of business. If you're Enzo and you, you've never even been on the indies, where do I go? I didn't even know. But now, my friends get fired in the WWE. A lot of them go over to AEW, have great opportunities there to have killer matches, wrestle some of their best friends, New people, new opponents, new crowds, different places. So he's doing great for the business. And any time that you can, whether it's Impact or TNA or Ring of Honor, any jobs that are created for wrestlers is a good thing. So, like, I just want to see more people doing this for a living because I know what it's like to not have to go to work every day and to go do something that you don't love doing or to go. I see people paving roads, my friends in unions, truck drivers and, and like real labor, like laborers, not just driving a truck. I'm talking about getting off on loading pallets. And That's real work. This ain't a job. I'm lucky to do what I do, you know, and especially where I did it. At the start, I started in the WWE and I learned how to do this thing the right way all the way through.